So you're working flat out. I know everyone within your business is working flat out, but have you ever stopped to think, what's the vision for your business? What is the vision for you if you're in a role or a position within that business? What are you going to be doing in two or three years' time? What's your business going to be looking like in two or three years' time? There's got to be a vision. We've got to understand what success looks like and what our business is going to look like. There's a great story. Walt Disney's brother was walking with his friend through Disneyland and his friend said, wow, look at this unbelievable theme park. Wouldn't that have been great if your brother Walt was here today to see what this looks like? And Walt Disney's brother said, my brother Walt, he saw this a long time ago. What are you seeing in your business? What are you seeing in your position? My challenge to you today is, what's the vision for your future? There's a great book by Andrew Matthews. It's called Follow Your Heart. Go ahead and get a copy and read it. And in it he says, people say, when I see it, I'll believe it. But until they believe it, they'll never see it. I'm Harold Kravitz, helping you grow your business. Once again, thank you, Harold, for a valuable tip. We would like to tell you about our vision for future recycling. While business for everyone in Melbourne is under tremendous strain with current restrictions, it is important to look to the future. We have recently received certification of our carbon neutral status for another year. This is extremely important to us and part of our vision of a circular economy where we can reuse and recycle as much as possible. We have reduced our emissions from previous levels and offsets others through supporting a variety of projects such as renewable energy and revegetation projects. These projects focus on the reduction of emissions and the preservation of life-given rainforests. In addition to this, we have upgraded our facilities in order to aid our ability to reduce waste to landfill. This is our Pakenham transfer station before our upgrade, and here is Pakenham after. We can now divert up to 7% of waste from landfill by being able to separate materials for reuse and recycling, such as builder's rubble being processed for reuse as road base. We have also upgraded machinery, such as our inclined shear at Dayanong, which allows us to process more metal items for recycling. We will continue to make improvements and upgrade our facilities in order to reduce waste to landfill and increase our recycling capacity while reducing our energy use. Each of our facilities are assessed and reviewed regularly and we have some exciting news coming soon. I want to take this opportunity to again thank our customers for their loyalty and custom during these particularly challenging times. We are all in this together, so stay safe.